guys welcome back to my channel before i start don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i want to read the article by ambar warwick okay investing.com the chinese yuan feels slightly on wednesday after the country logs weaker than expected inflation readings for july while most other asian currencies trade water in anticipation of key u.s inflation data as of 0030 et or 0430 gmt the yuan fell 0.1 percent to 6 thousand uh, 7 thousand against the dollar china's consumer price and producer piece price indexes grow at a slower than expected rate in July, showing that the country was still grappling with damaging COVID-19 lockdowns. Producer price inflation in particular slumped to, to a 17-month low, indicating that factory activity remained severely constrained in the country. It's also bought poorly of for on China as a destination for key commodity export. The Indonesian rupiah fell 0.2% while the Australian dollar traded flat. The dollar index was uh, index was also largely unchanged but as well dollar index future. The Indian rupee struck slightly on look to potentially reduce India's crude bill. The currency which was 0.1 percent to 79,522 is, is especially sensitive to oil prices. The two Indians depends on crude import. The Japanese yen also threatened slightly on the dollar after the country looks slightly higher than expected producer price inflation in July. Japan's factory output has risen steadily in recent months despite rising raw material price and global supply chain issues. Broader sentiment in ASEAN currency market was mute ahead of key US inflation data to add 0830 on Wednesday. The right the reading which is expected to have is set slightly to an annual rate of 8, 87% in July. It's likely to factor in to the Federal Reserve plans for monetary policy but despite returning slightly inflation in uh, but the slightly inflation is likely to remain pent around 40 years high. This couple with strong US payrolls data last week is expected to give the Fed enough, enough room to hike interest rates future. Raising US interest rates are negative for ASEAN markets given that uh, that they reduce the amount of foreign capital that can be invested into the region. The narrowing rate differential between U.S. and local labs also make investing in the region less attractive. Producer price inflation, in particular, slumped to 17 month low, indicating that factory activity remains severely constrained in the country. It's also bothers probably for other ASEAN countries that depend on China as a destination for key commodity export. The Indonesian rupiah fell 0.2% while the Australian dollar trade flat. The dollar index was also largely un unchanged as well dollar index future. The Indian rupee strengthened slightly on Wednesday as weakness in oil prices looks to potentially reduce India's crude 
build the currency which rose uh, 0.1 percent to 7 79,000 in this based on crude import okay guys that's all for me before I close please like comment share and subscribe okay see you